Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're going to talk about automatic batch state updates in React. So React 18 was released a couple of days back and it ships with really cool new features like the new concurrent renderer, server side rendering with support for suspense, APIs like start transition. But one of the really cool things which would improve performance for React applications is the automatic batching. So automatic batching is basically batching together state updates made in a non event handler function so that it causes only one re-render rather than multiple re-renders for each of the state updates. This will become more clear once we take a look at some examples. Before I jump into automatic batching and how it works, I just wanted to show you how things were before automatic batching. So I have this code sandbox environment here. All the code sandboxes will be linked in the video description. So here I have a very simple app. Uh, there are, so I have a current number and there is total and this actually is a Fibonacci sequence. So I have number which, so the current number is zero and the total is set to one. And then when I say add number, these two numbers will add together and the total of those two numbers will be set to total and the current number will set, will be set to the sum, which is one here. So now if I click on add number, I can actually look at a Fibonacci sequence, right? So there is nothing cool here, but there is a lot happening here, which is interesting. So if I, let me just expand this, see how, when I click add number, there is only one console.log statement, which corresponds to one re-render that happens. This is how the code actually works. So whenever I click on the add number button, there is a change number event handler, which gets called. And as you can see, there are two state updates, which happen here. So one, happens for some and the other happens for number. And as you can see, this is actually react 17. I'm, I'm not using react 18 here. So even if there are two state updates, we just get only one render, right? Let me just try this again. If I click on add number, I just get one re render, but I'm updating two states here, right? And that's because uh, react batches, state updates made in event handlers together so as to get better performance right now let's take a look at what what would happen if i did state updates in async functions in react 17 or any version of react before 18. this is again a pretty straightforward example so here as you can see i'm still using react 17 it's pretty much the same version and let me just yeah uh, and what is happening here is I have three states here at the loading users total. Uh, I'm calling an API called get to do's, which gets called in the use effect. So whenever the component is mounted, the get to do's will be called, which will then make an API call. And on success of the API call, there are three things which are set. Now I have coded only for the happy path because we are doing it for demo. Uh, and then once the users is set, then there is things which are rendered here. So there is a user list which is rendered here. So this isn't a lot of significance. What is really important is these console.log statements here. So let me just refresh this thing again. Right. And as you can see, for just to render this whole thing, we are actually taking it actually takes four renders, right? So the first one is an is an initial render. So you have the default values which I've set over here, which get printed. So loading, uh, the default value is set to true. The users is set to f set to fetching because there is nothing in the array right now. And then total is set to zero here, right? Now, once the component is mounted, we make the get to do's call, and then it's going to fetch users from this API. And on success, it's actually going to set these three values here, meaning there is going to be state update. So for every state update that happens here, you can see a corresponding console.log statement, right? So I set set loading to false, you have a console.log statement here, right? I set users, then it says users loaded. And then when I say set total, then it sets total, right? So just to display this table, once we got, once we get the data, it's actually taking three re-renders. And this probably isn't a problem when our data is small. But imagine if we have, you know, tens of millions of records, which is very common these days, this is going to be a problem. So to fix this in pre-React 18, 
there are two possible solutions but we'll take a look at those solutions later but first let me show you what happens in react 18 for the very same for for the same example so this is the same example but in react 18 as you can see there are only two renders that happen here so there is an initial render with loading set to true user set to fetching and the total set to zero and then we directly get the final render which is loading set to false which uh, which i'm updating here there is loaded uh, the users is then set to loaded and then i have a total of 10 and all of these updates are actually happening in a promise callback so this just goes out to show that in react 18 state updates made in promises set timeouts or set intervals so any non-event handler function are batched together but for this to actually work for your projects you have to use the new create root api which is exported by the react dom library so to do that i have made some changes so here i'm actually using react dom slash client and then i'm using the create root function from the react dom client to create a root and then i'm using the render method on the root for this to happen right so if you are using the old way of rendering then you would still end up with multiple re-renders but if you use this method that is if you use the new create root api then you will end up with lesser renders but now if you are still using react 17 and it is not possible for you to update right away to react 18 so how can you actually optimize your code so that you can get a similar effect without upgrading to react 18 so now for that i have two ways of doing it so the first way is to actually use a api which is exposed by react dom called unstable batched updates so let me just comment this out and uncomment this and then re-render and as you can see now it's just happening in one re-render which is pretty cool right but but using an internal api is not really the good the best option so there is another way of doing it which is by clubbing all of these states together into one state object right so let me show you that as well so here i have the same example but here i have clubbed all of these together in just one state and this is good because these are all dependent on each other right because if there are no users then there is no point of loading and if there are again no users then there is no point of having total right so these are three states which are kind of linked or related to each other so it's actually a pretty good idea of clubbing them together and here what happens is once i get the data back i just set call a set fetch details and all of these updates then happen in just one render rather than two so, right so let me just refresh this again and voila i hope you guys found this video a bit helpful if you did be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button they are more videos coming out really soon and um yeah i guess that's going to be it thank you guys for joining and i'll see you guys in the next one